welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. Pilots spend a lot of time learning to master the crosswind landing and many articles are written about this skill. But what about the crosswind takeoff? I do not hear a lot of pilots speak about techniques used to take off in a crosswind. Is this photo of a pilot's sight picture a takeoff or a landing? It is hard to say. Takeoffs and landings should look the same. Roll into the wind using aileron and opposite rudder when landing and also during takeoff in a crosswind. A tailwheel airplane should be rolled onto the windward wheel before liftoff. This is a best pilot practice in all airplanes, but it is especially important for tailwheel airplanes. If the liftoff is not clean in crosswind conditions and the airplane were to settle back onto the runway, the airplane would not be aligned with the runway when it touches down. During the moment in which the airplane is airborne, it will begin to move sideways with the air mass and perhaps start to weather vane into the wind. When the tires contact the runway, side forces are created and Newton's force equation comes into play. Remember the big gorilla is always with you. You may remember the big gorilla from a former hangar talk episode or from my book, Flying the Tailwheel Airplane. The big gorilla is smiling when your airplane is bouncing sideways on the runway. Make it a habit to apply aileron into a crosswind and hold opposite rudder during takeoff. Roll onto the windward wheel Maintain directional control with rudder and make a positive liftoff. Avoid skipping. Next, establish and maintain rate of climb with wings level and the airplane crabbed into the wind to maintain runway heading. Remember to hold right rudder against left turning P factor. A proper takeoff roll will be just the opposite of a landing and rollout. Another reason to roll into the wind during takeoff is to preview the landing sight picture. Take advantage of aileron input on takeoff to experience how much aileron will be required for landing in the prevailing crosswind conditions. If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, dylanaviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself, and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun, and keep the blue on top.